Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and aggregated blockchain show on YouTube. Luck, 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 luck. If you don't like drinking, smoking, and swearing, leave now, because here I come. One, two, three, bang. All right, brothers. So, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. I should have said that last night, actually. I didn't I didn't do the math right on the last night show. should have been the happy Thanksgiving show, because I guess Thanksgiving is way over by now. But whatever, man. Just know that I love you guys, and <clears throat> I hope you all had a good, happy Thanksgiving turkey stuff and bang 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 all the goods all the goods all right guys we got a good show tonight a little more chilled out than usual uh we're not really gonna even talk any crypto tonight we're just gonna talk about sort of what um is going on in a few countries around the world this gives us a sense of you know what the vibes are around the world you know this is a global this will be a global well, it is a global market, and so let's see what people around the world are doing. So today we're going to talk about the Norwegians. Bang! All oh, they diss their, they diss their Bitcoin miners. Subsidy gone. We're going to talk about that and French. And so <laughs> this story was so silly. Actually, I saw it yesterday, and it was everywhere. And I was like, why the hell does anybody care about this? And but I guess they do, man. And so this is a cryptocurrency blockchain news show. So we're going to talk about French tobacco companies are going to sell bitcoins. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. And then bang, we're going to get into what I like. I'm going to bring you guys into the deep. I'm going to bring you into the underground. I'm going to show you guys the vibes. I've been telling you. Uh, well, I've been showing you, well, I told you, then I showed you yesterday, and now I'm going to show you again why the price of Bitcoin is nosediving. And this motherfucker, this Bitcoin gash guy, cash guy, fake Toshi, Jason Wright, yo, man, this guy might have something to do with this. So we're going to talk about that. I mean, I don't have an answer for that, so I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to be like... I mean, I already told you the OTC guys, that was the answer. We know that. But why is it eh, so much? And we're going to get there when we get there. When we get there, we'll talk. Okay, brothers? So, uh, yeah, we're just going to have a nice little after Thanksgiving day. I really did this just because my European brothers, you know, they don't have Thanksgiving. So, you know, I I'm not going to lie. I was going to be like, guys, I got wasted. Fuck it, man. I was at Thanksgiving and everything. But nah, nah, nah. Always on duty. Bang, bang, bang. That's why I'm here. And so let's get to how we start. And then we'll get to shout outs and airdrops. Let's get to how we start. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? Wait. Oh, my bad. My bad. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Bang. And then we do a little bit of bang. And that should have brought you to the bang. No, not yet. Oh, this is the bang. Bang. All right. All right, got to get those bangs in order, brothers. Got to get those bangs in orders. All right, bang, bang. Notice how I got the bang. We got the nice numbers now so you can see. So I'm not blocking it. All right, so luck, 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 luck. Let's go top. Oh, 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 oh. Let's refresh. Bang. Not, oh, oh, no. oh, nice, nice, nice. So let's go to our top 10 of the day. Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, uh, XRP still holding on the number two. Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Stellar, EOS, Litecoin, Tether, Ma Cardano, and Monero holding on number 10. Strong. Nice. What do we got here? Bang. Bang. We got single midget. <laughs> single midgets. <laughs> single digits down. or Mid single digits down to double low double digit singles up. Or singles down. Mid single digits, I'm so excited. Hold on, calm down, Shamari. Mid single digits down to mid single digits or to double digit, mid, low double digits, mid single down. Double digit. It's harder to say it that way. Oh, look at all the goods. All right, all right, goods, brothers, here we go. Bang. All right, let's look at what's really on sale today. Bang. Hold on. Polymath, Omisco, Loop Ring, Bitcoin Cash, Syrian's Lab Token. That token thing went like 300 points yesterday or something. 300%. Electronium, 
Mithril, Decentraland, MOAC, and Ravencoin. Bang. Eh. Hold on. Let's just take a look at what else is on sale, though. Just take a look if anything good is on sale. Though. B chain. There they are. Neo. Stellar. All right. All right. Bang. All right. Look, let's look at our top 10 earners of the day. Bang. Who we got? We got Aurora, Augur, Theta Token, Dai, Trust USD, Paxo Standard, USD Coin, Tether, Odom, and QAsh. Bang. Mm -hmm. Well, all right then. Oh, 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 oh. Let's look at our overall markets of the day, the overall market cap. One thirty eight way down. And we've got a uh eh, whatever. Fourteen and change on the daily volume. Bang. I'm gonna show you guys some shit though. Don't worry about that. Fuck fuck all that. Bang. All right, let's get through a couple stories. And let's get to the real money talk. <laughs> yes. All right, fuck sticks. The Norwegian government has scrapped a power subsidy currently granted to Bitcoin miners. All right, Bitcoin miners in Norway are getting screwed. Well, not screwed. They got to pay their bills. According to a report from local news outlet. What? Afton Posten. In, in its state budget, the government said that cryptocurrency miners in the country will have to pay normal electricity tax for the new year. From the new year. Uh, at the moment, larger mining firms receive the same electricity tax discounts as other power intensive industries in the in the country those with the capacity of more than 0.5 megawatts are charged only 0.48 blah 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 per kilowatt hour instead of the standard rate of 16.58 uh blah blah blah. Uh, blah 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 all right the means that <laughs> that means that eligible miners have been paying just 2.8% of the standard rate to power their rigs. Wow. Norway can continue to provide... Oh, so this is some Norwegian guy, I bet. Norway can continue, can not continue to provide huge tax incentives for the most dirty form of cryptographic output like Bitcoin. It requires a lot of energy and generates lots of greenhouse gas emissions globally. Norwegian parliamentary representative Lars Halbrekken said in the report now with an end to the subsidy bitcoin miners will have to shell out higher taxes which is likely to reduce their net profits at a time when low crypto prices are already putting uh pressure on the industry i'm going to talk to you about that in a second hold on all right hold on i hope i remember just this monday us-based bitcoin mining firm yes i will gigawatt declared bankruptcy revealing in court documents that it still owes its biggest 20 secured and unsecured creditors nearly $7 million. That number includes uh, claims to hundreds of thousands of dollars by two power providers to the firm. And so that's what I want to talk to you about. Yeah, man. Did I mention this yesterday? I might have mentioned it. I seem to vaguely remember. All right, hold on, hold on, though. I see there's one more little thing here. Um, removing this subsidy will push crypto miners to Sweden and Denmark, he argued, adding that the country mustn't just say no income and work in many municipalities in Norway. All right, whatever, man. I don't give a fuck. All right, look. And uh, so I bring that up just that I think it was a story I brought up yesterday in that, you know, with the prices going, when the prices crash like this, and I'm going to show you this son of a bitch right here, fake Toshi. Yo, guy, I have a story for you. Let's just get to that. Hold on. But I want to remember to, I want to, hold on. I remember, I want to remember to, I want to remember to uh, attach this all together, man. If you're a miner with what this fake Toshi fucker is doing, Look, look, look. What's he doing, dog? I'm going to show you what this fuckstick is doing. Well, at least he's what he says he's going to do. And look. You wonder why prices of coins are down? We'll chat. We're going to chat. Let's get one more story out here. A real quick one. 
Bang, bang, bang. French, French tobacco retailers. Bang. All right, let's do this. So, oh, yeah, these French tobacconists, they're going to sell bitcoins. Great. A little strange. But you see the French, you know, they go to a tobacco store to buy their tobacco. You know what I mean? They're not like us. Just buy a pack of Marlboros and shit. No, man. They get their blended thing and they roll their own and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's nice. I was in Europe, man. I used to roll my own in Europe. You know, I didn't have cigarettes with filters and shit. I used to just roll my shit. You know, you know, anyways, tobacconists in France are response uh, reportedly uh, going to be selling Bitcoin to the public <laughs> from the new year. All right. According to France based radio station Europe One, tobacco retailers will be offering Bitcoin vouchers in denominations of 50, 100 or 250 euros uh, starting in January 1st, 2019. Local crypto startup Keplerk is said to have signed a deal with a cash register software provider to facilitate the scheme. Uh, Keplerk will allow customers to convert their vouchers into Bitcoin and store it in wallets on its platform. Initially, some 3,000 to 4,000 tobacco shops will be selling the vouchers with others likely to be added later on, the report states. Uh, all right. Tobacco shops owners are the best channel as they are trusted by customers and they are used to sell vouchers such as credit for mobile phones. So they tobacco shops are not just tobacco shops. Uh, they sell other stuff. Right. So that's why it's going to make it cool uh, as credit for mobile phones. Adil Zakhar, Kepler Next Director for Strategy and Development, who quoted as saying by Reuters. Now, a, there are 25,000 tobacco outlets across France. According to the Tobacconist, Federalist, whatever website, potentially making Bitcoin widely available in the scheme of this. Well, it will be available. Whether people buy it or not will be a whole other thing. Bang! Now, let's get real money. All right, brother. So, you know, what the fuck is, nose, is this nosedive? What is this nosedive about? I mean, I mean, I love it. I mean, and I think it's the, uh, I know it's the OTC guys from last year. I taught you guys that. I told you guys that. And then we saw the guy yesterday talk about it. He was an OTC broker and he showed you, yeah, this is what my customers are doing. But there's a little additional something, maybe perhaps. And I want to talk about that. This is just a light show tonight. Uh, I don't really know, but I am going to read this to you guys and you guys can decide for yourselves. As Bitcoin plows through support levels that... Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just get... Let me have a commercial break. All right. As Bitcoin plows through support levels that many thought were prehistoric, Investor sentiment has all but sunk to a standoff between capitulating defeatists, oh, I'm dying, and grim-faced, defiant maximalists, we will prevail. Well, I'm not a maximalist, and I'm no defeatist. I'm a realist, and that's why you're here. You should be a realist, too, and the reality is, bang, institutional investors are on the way, and uh, we'll deal with prices when they get here. As far as all these retail fuck sticks, these little retail guys, I don't care what price is. Bang! When they get here, then we'll talk. The expected confusion of expecta uh, explanations has emerged for the coin's ferocious sell-off. Sell seeing prices wind, wind the clock back to October 2017. There's the noise that... All right, so blah, blah, blah. So what they're saying is Justice Department cut... Cracking down on Tether might have been a catalyst for the, the downturn in price. It's not. But now this is why I bring this up. This shit right here. And remember I told you guys? Remember I read you guys this shit? The one where... Okay, hold on. Let's stop swearing so much. Remember I read you guys about the confrontation between Roger Ver and Craig Wright? Craig Wright is the fake Satoshi guy. He's the guy who says that he is Satoshi. 
Well, and and then the Bitcoin Cash thing was separating, and the Craig Wright guy. Like, so I wrote, I read you the one email, uh, the one, yeah, it was an email, the one email where Satoshi Fake Toshi told Roger Ver, "Oh, you're gonna see me when I'm angry. You're gonna see me when I'm angry." <laughs> well, hold on though, <laughs> he's still talking that crap. You notice how prices have gone down? And let me show you something. So let me read this, and then we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. And you guys tell me what you think in the comments, okay? Tell me what you think. I'm just a market guy. I don't know about your little crypto wars. But tell me what you think. So there's Craig's right. <clears throat> Craig writes, much reported thinly veiled threat to send the original cryptocurrency plummeting perhaps to $1,000 by selling off BTC holdings, Bitcoin holdings, and fueling his troops in the rapidly escalating Bitcoin Cash civil war. Now, I have to say two things about that. One thing is this. Uh, don't worry about the Bitcoin Cash war. When these guys get here, uh, they're going to be dividing up every coin according to its own value. So the, what this guy Wright is going to do, or maybe is doing right now, is not going to affect your holdings. So just keep buying your stuff, keep filling your warehouse with your quality goods. This kind of bullshit that drives down the price of the whole market isn't going to work when these guys get here and start maturing the market, okay? We've talked about that before. I'm not going to get into all that right now. But uh, but the other thing I want to talk about is this, the the direct thing happening now, though. Look at this, and I want to. I want you to read this. I don't read tweets. You've been saying that the last couple of weeks. I know because the tweets have been serious. Look at what this motherfucker said. This is the Craig Wright guy. Bang. He says he's Satoshi. Oh, get the fuck out of here. He says he's Satoshi. Now look what he says. He said to all Bitcoin miners, if you switch to mine Bitcoin Cash. We may need to fund this with Bitcoin. If we do, we sell for USD. And, well, we think Bitcoin market has no room. It tanks. Think about it. We will sell a lot. Consider that. And have a nice day. Wow, that's some passive aggressive bullshit right there. And have a nice day. He said Bitcoin to a thousand? Does not phase me. Does not phase me. Look, we just read about uh well uh yesterday we read about what was that shit we read yesterday right the bitcoin mining firm went bankrupt yesterday because price was too low apparently craig wright he says him and his boys they can hang on with a thousand dollar bitcoin <laughs> so and, and so i bring that up for two reasons just for you to know that <laughs> that's what this guy says guys he is a major hodler. Like, I don't give a fuck whether he's Satoshi or not. He's a major hodler. He's the type of hodler that can make markets fucking move, okay? And that's the reality of that. Um, the other reason I bring that up is that, um, you know, that's the sort of thing that, that's the exact thing Nuriel Rabini was talking about, right? Nuriel was talking talking about mass corporate adoption and everything and these are from mined coins obviously if your coin is mined there's going to be they're not going to want to put their corporation at risk that you and your little crypto nerd buddies are having a little argument and screw up and fork off and do all this crap right so i'm just bringing up to that i just bring up that point as well but actually that has nothing to do with us so i don't know why i brought that up well i brought it up just because it is a factor but so, but guys, do you see this guy? What do he say? He says Bitcoin to a thousand does not phase me. So, I mean, Shmori, is this guy? I don't know if this guy's the Sotoshi or not. I don't know what power he has, right? Like, but our prices are going down. I know that's because of the OTC guys that bought last year. Oh, okay, okay. So let's also talk about that. <laughs> My bad. So there. Uh, so let's continue on. There's those calling the potential ramifications of the Bitcoin Cash Force saga 
as a not a short-lived sell-off, but in fact, a destabilizing blow. We'll see about the blow. We don't know if it's a blow, and this is all bullshit, but... But... Now, this is the reality, though. So while we do, so I bring that James, the right, the right guy, the fake Toshi guy up, just for your mind. Just I don't know why, you know. Just that's a factor in why maybe we're going down, right? Maybe even the threat alone has caused some angst, right? Um, but now here we go. Substantial evidence stands to suggest. Large entities, bang, large entities were what? Accumulating what? Vast quantities of Bitcoin during the coin months, bang, during the fucking, during the coins monthly long chill pill, accumulating, look, look, brothers, and that's why Shamar is here, I'm here to bring you to the underground, I'm here to bring you to the back, you know what I mean? Look, when you're here on South Beach with me, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't hang out in a regular crowd. We don't hang out just in fucking VIP, VIP area. Yeah, that's where we, we charge suckers <laughs> for uh, 10 times the bottle worth. Nah, motherfucker, you hang out with me backstage, bitch. That's where we hang. And that's where you're hanging here. Backstage. OTC, son. Luck, luck, luck. Luck, luck, luck. <laughs> luck. Substantial evidence has shown that they've been accumulating on the back end. What have we been talking about? What have we been talking about? Fucking a ripple, right? Last year, Q3, or this year, Q3, mass, mass, mass buying on the what? The OTC counter. And on a range of the OTC market, a booming business, widely estimated to be what? At least, at least two to three times the larger volume in the exchanges. The exchanges are bullshit. This shit right here, where are we at? Bang. Let's go right here. This shit, 14 billion. Shit was three times that much today. Bang, bang, bang. That's the behind the scenes shit. Yeah, that's the locker room shit. That's the, the back in the dressing room stuff. Bang, bang, bang. Okay? That's what's been going on. So don't you worry. Look, all this shit that's been going on out here. This blood red, oh, juicy blood red. And let's hope it, it continues tomorrow. <sighs> let's hope it continues for a while until January. Bang, look at that. Bang, look at that. Right? And that's what's been going on. There's been a lot of OTC action. I, I reported to you on that earlier this year. But this son of a bitch right here, the one man, uh, one man. I mean, I'm not saying that he's doing it, all right? That's not what I'm saying, but I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. Could that be something? Could that be something? I mean, he's talking with a bold ass ass, and I mean, he's got the mining boys behind him to like fuck around. And so in terms of the, the markets we're seeing now, I think it's him. I think it's a combination of him and the OTC guy selling. Uh, as far as our money going forward, I don't give a fuck about this guy. Uh, he can do all that he wants. Once the big guys get here, there's going to be a decoupling of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin and all these things. If your coin is doing something, it'll go up no matter what, you know? And so, but for now, and I guess what I'm trying to say is, guys, um, I'm trying to just kind of get you to, like, I think here at the end of the year, we're going to see you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. And like I said yesterday, we are in a pivotal moment in the markets coming into the next quarter. January, we're going to see back to come online. We're going to see whether we get the trade war or not. And then February, all those ETF rulings are going to come online. And so I'm going to be saying this probably till the rest of the year. Settle in, boys. Buy. Build your warehouse. Calm down. There are no more rulings. No more anything to go on. Let's just calm down. Let's understand why moves are happening. Let's make our money. Uh, let's buy our, uh, fill our warehouses at the, the optimal times if we can catch them. And let's wait for next year. 
Uh, because next year, right at the beginning of the year, bang, we are on full, full, full warrior mode, brothers. Locked and loaded warrior mode next year. So for the rest of the year, it'll probably be this. Just nice, casual evenings talking about what's happening in what country, what country, what country. Until January. January. Dang, dang. We're going to be battle mode again. Okay, guys. So. Uh, oh, we got to do shout outs and airdrops. Bang. Bitcoin doodle. See you, brother. Bang. Ron Kez. Oh, Edwin. Bang. See you, brother. There's this son of a bitch. See you, brother. He's got the bang. <gasps> bang. Bang. See you, brother. And look, look, look. This is how I roll. This is how I roll. Right here. Bang. Watch this. Bang, bang. I got you. I got you. You're in my scope. Yes. Bang. All right, brothers. Oh, we had an airdrop last night. We did have an airdrop last night that was brought to us by Airdrop 2410, the Hurricane Master. Yo, this guy had a hurricane earlier this year. <laughs> two. Two. And I did the timestamp. Like, he, he, so he was, hurt, he was airdropping. And I did, uh, it looks, you know, it tells you four hours ago, five hours ago, whatever. I looked, he was in the middle of the blood red fucking hurricane air dropping like a son of a bitch bang that's the kind of warriors we need bang that's the kind of warriors we love shout outs to air drop 24 10 so he's doing hold on let's take a look here guys all right let me say hi to this guy though she'll hate her bang all right buddy all right let's go roy rog chain bang go get your airdrop there guy rog go get the rog chain airdrop cousin david Glad you're feeling better. Oh, thank you, brother. Bang, I'm feeling better. Bang, always on duty. All right. Bob, 8441132, go with the free airdrops. Bang, they're not coming so fast and furious, but just get yourself ready. When they do come, you will be ready now. Crypto coin trader. All right, buddy. Bang, good luck with that. Hope you're doing level two. All right. So that's it, buddies. That is it. We are going to kill and shill it. We're going to call a night. This has been Thanksgiving night here in America. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bang. All right. And the computer was like, not your ugly face. Shit. <laughs> All right, buddies. So, guys, subscribe below. Uh, press the bell and you will get, um, I think, <laughs> from what I hear, YouTube sometimes tells you and sometimes not. But just press it and that'll... Press the bell and that'll most likely get you the alerts of when I upload something. And uh, uh, oh, press the thumbs up thing so YouTube knows you liked it. And that's about it, guys. Uh, that's it. So we had a good night tonight. We learned about Norway. Bang, no more subsidies for the miners. France, yo, yo, you want to buy a little Bitcoin while you buy your cigars in France? Have at it. <laughs> and then bang, why, why it took a nosedive. Uh, I told you guys already the OTC stuff, but that James Wright guy, the fake Toshi guy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting anything out there. I'm just saying, just, just we're gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch that. All right. So, guys, I love you guys. Love you all. This is my favorite time of the day. This is Shamari Clark. Bang. Over and out. Always on duty, motherfuckers. For you, because you're gonna be rich. Bang. Over and out.